Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be creating this makeup look right here for you guys. But first, I want to thank you guys for making 10k possible. It means so much to me. I can't thank you guys enough for your amazing love and support. I love you guys so so much. Now, let's get started. Starting off with Max Fix Plus, I'm spraying it all over my face because it will wake my skin up and give a healthy glow to it. Moving on to primer, I am using the silicone based primer from Miss Claire. Speaking of Miss Claire, I get asked a lot about from where you can get Miss Claire. You can now get Miss Claire from Nika and Amazon. Coming back to the video, this primer is really really good and budget friendly at the same time and it's one of my favorites. Moving on to foundation, I'm using my good old friend from Lakme, it's their Argan Oil foundation and those of you who have been following my channel for some time now would know my love for this foundation. In case you are wondering, I'm using this Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques. You can get it from Amazon. This one's a really good tube for the original Beauty Blender. I totally recommend it. By the way guys, which one do you prefer? A brush or a sponge for blending? I love sponges for blending. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section. Alright guys, time for hiding those dark circles. I'm using this bad boy from Maybelline. It's their Age Rewind Concealer. Once you use it, you're totally gonna get addicted to it. No kidding. Okay, so if you have dark circles and are in the hunt for a good concealer, go out and get this now. Like, right now. For those of you wondering, I am using the shade medium. By the way, I don't know if you can tell but my Goa tan is still going strong. And I'm kind of liking it. I'm skipping the boring part of doing my eyebrows and showing you how magically my eyebrows are getting fit. Now comes the fun part. I'm taking this Maybelline gel liner in black and using it as a base for my eyeshadows. You can go ahead and use any kajal you want but you need to be real quick with this because once it gets dried, it's going to be very difficult for you to blend it and you don't want any tugging or pulling when it comes to your eyes. Also, you can use a brush or finger to apply this but uh, I prefer my ring finger as the pressure applied through it is the least. Just a quick little tip for my lovely YouTube fam. Done with the base, moving on to this beautiful green single eyeshadow from Miss Claire. Taking this wet and white brush, I am applying it over the black base. Speaking of wet and white brushes, they are really good quality and inexpensive at the same time. You can get them from Nika and Amazon. By the way guys, please leave some video suggestions for me in the comment section below. I really want to make videos which you guys love and want to watch. Okay, moving on to this red eyeshadow from Miss Claire. I am applying it on the green. Miss Claire eyeshadows are just love. So affordable and quality wise they are just amazing. While working with them, you need to be a little careful as they are very pigmented. A little goes a long way with these eyeshadows. Next, taking this beautiful blue from Miss Claire and layering it on top of that red, mainly concentrating at the outer corners. Now, these shadows are really, really easy to work with and blend just perfectly. Okay, now I'm going back to the green because with all the blending the green has just faded so this is to intensify the green a little more. Now I'm going to repeat the process of layering with red and the blue because I want this eye look to look green but not too green. You know what I mean? 
I want hints of purple and black to it at the same time. That's the reason why I am going back to this red and the blue. By the way guys, as promised, there will be a big giveaway for hitting 10k subscribers. I know you guys are waiting for it eagerly. It's just that another giveaway is running on my Instagram page. Once it ends, I'm definitely going to do that big 10k giveaway. By the way, you should totally check out the ongoing giveaway on my Instagram page and get a chance to win an amazing Sony headphone. Coming back to the video, I am taking that blue and smoking out my lower lash line and then repeating the steps I did on my eyes. Taking this lovely brown color from Miss Claire, I am putting it on my crease and above it so that it gives a beautiful contrast to the green eyeshadow. You can totally do this step before doing the rest of the eye or doing that green eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this oh so famous Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics and putting it right at the center of my eyelids. I'm doing this in order to get that halo effect. I'm also applying it at the corners of my eyes and you know what, for some reason, I love this step. Moving on to one of my favorite steps of doing makeup, bronzing, taking Bahama Mama from the Balm Cosmetics on a wet and white contour brush, I am bronzing up my face. I'm using this bronzer after a long time and I'm loving every bit of it. Is it just me or you guys too love bronzing? Let me know you guys. For my girls who are thinking of investing on a good bronzer, go for this one guys. I promise you won't regret it. And obviously you can get it on Nykaa. One thing I like to do after bronzing is to blend everything using a sponge. This ensures that you don't have any stark lines or unevenness. For those of you who are just starting with makeup, makeup obviously doesn't have any rules. But the key to do a good makeup look is to blend everything nicely so that everything looks nice and seamless. Time to use this pretty peachy pink blush from Maybelline and I'm using this Real Techniques blush brush for applying it. This brush is honestly the best blush brush I own. Love it. It's actually if you have this blush brush, you don't need any other blush brush. So I totally recommend you getting this. By the way guys, in today's video I won't be using any mascara because I'm having cold and using a mascara would water my eyes. I am back after putting eyeliner. It's time to glow now. I am using the Mary Luminizer to highlight the high points of my face. You guys know how much I love highlighting. This one is one of the best highlighters out there in the market and this one never disappoints you. I am loving how it looks on my skin too. Favorite part, lipstick. This beautiful shade from NYX has my heart. This is such a fun color and especially for this time of the year, it's just awesome. And for once guys, I'm using just one lipstick for my video. Are you surprised? Speaking of lipsticks, I've bought some amazing lipsticks recently. Would you guys like to see a swatch video? Let me know. I'm finishing off with some Max Fix Plus and yeah, that's the finished result. I love the look. It's so beautiful for summertime. And can you see that glow? I am in love. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It means a lot to me. I love you guys so much. Bye.